So today um, we're going to practice quite an energising class, energising flow class. Um, we're going to begin uh, in this posture where we have our knees bent, kind of sitting on our calves, shins together. So this isn't comfortable um, for all of us. This can be a little bit aggravating for the knees. Um, and the fronts of the ankles. So if this is the case for you, you might want to bring uh, something underneath you. So if you have a yoga bolster, putting a bolster between your legs, brilliant. Um, you can roll up blankets or place pillows underneath you to give yourself a little bit of height. Um, you can even come and sit cross-legged if this, if this just doesn't work for you, if this is a posture that doesn't work for you. Um, so yeah, feel free to adjust accordingly. And then from here, once you've find, found a comfortable posture, think about extending the crown of the head towards the ceiling, finding that nice tall spine. Hands can just rest on the thighs. Shoulders relax away from the ears. And just bringing your attention inwards for the first few moments of the practice. Scanning yourself from the inside out, noticing how you're feeling on a physical level. Just briefly scanning yourself from head to toe, noticing any areas of tension that might need particular attention today. Noticing how you're feeling mentally, the kind of thoughts that are arising. So without judgment, just noticing. We're just taking a step back, adopting the role of the observer. Noticing how you are feeling emotionally. Energetically, where your energy's at today. A bit deeper inwards now, just beginning to tune into the rhythm of your breath. So, without trying to change anything just yet, just noticing the length of your inhale and the length of your inhale, exhale. Noticing where you feel the breath in the body. Maybe in the chest belly, sides of the body, and with each exhale now just see if you can release any tension that you might be holding on to, any gripping in the body. You might want to take some size out of the mouth. As you inhale, really think about breathing in that which you want to receive. Feeling energy, positive energy, exhaling, just letting go of what isn't serving you, letting go of anything that's stuck, just really arriving on your mat. So we're going to begin, before we start to move with our entire body, we're going to begin with an energizing pranayama breath work. So you're probably familiar with Kapalabhati, it looks like this. It's like you're sending, it's like a, an active exhale, your inhale is passive, you're pumping the belly in to expel that breath out of your nose. So it's kind of similar, um, and by all means, if you have like high blood pressure, if you like hate this kind of you know energetic fast breathing, you can replace this with just with slow deep breathing. That might be better for you today. Um, but it is it is an energizing practice. That's why I'm, I'm introducing this. So it kind of looks like this. Your I'll, I'll do it slowly first. So your inhales and your exhales are quite strong and forceful. As you inhale, you're breathing into your belly, inhaling as much as you can. Exhale, pushing the belly in, exhale, exhaling as much as you can. And there's a movement that goes with the breath. So I'll just demonstrate. Your inhale, raising your arms up, lengthening, opening the palms. Exhale, making fists. 
drawing that back, drawing the elbows back, very dynamic. And there's no gap, we're eliminating the gap in between the inhale and the exhale. So it's like a flow, it looks like this. Once you get going, again, if this feels horrible for you, you wanna go a bit slower, a bit more peaceful, then do so. So let's begin, deep inhale. Full exhale. Let's be, inhale to begin. If you can, the eyes are closed and your attention is in and up towards your third eye, towards Ajna Chakra. Fiery dynamic breath linked with fiery dynamic movement. That feels good for you. Go for another 30 seconds or so. Really keep all of your attention inwards on the movement, on the breath, drawing that energy in as you inhale. Exhale, using your belly, using your exhale to pump out what is not needed, what you want to let go of. And then as you inhale, you're going to reach the arms up, extend the fingers, hold for a moment, exhale, release, bring the hands back onto your thighs, close your eyes for a moment, just feel what you can feel, sensations in the inner body, and then from here, let's make our way onto our hands and our knees, so bringing our hands directly underneath our shoulders, knees directly underneath our hips. As you inhale, you're going to drop the belly down, lift the gaze, send the heart forwards. As you exhale, you're going to push into the hands, round the spine, shoulder blades apart, gaze to navel. A few more rounds. Inhale, dropping the belly down, lifting the gaze, sending the heart forwards. Exhale, push into the hands, round the spine, shoulder blades apart, tailbone tuck. Few more rounds. Link your movement to your breath. Optional. We're going for energizing today. You might want to introduce that fiery, kind of faster breathing now. So, looks like this. Optional. You can go fast or slow as you like. If you're moving fast, Maybe bring the attention again, closing the eyes, bringing your inner gaze up towards your third eye, just in between the eyebrows. Linking your movement to breath. One more round. A couple more rounds if you're going fast. <laughs> and then from here, press into the hand, send the hips back down into your child's pose. Just relax the arms for a moment and let the forehead just rest on the ground. If child's pose isn't uncomfortable for is uncomfortable for you, sorry. You might want to bring a little thin because you can be um, creative with your props. If you don't have yoga props, you can bring like a little thin cushion or a blanket in between the knees, just closing the gap between the calves and the thighs. If it's uncomfortable for the fronts of your ankles, you can roll a blanket up and maybe place it underneath the fronts of the ankles. Final deep inhale into the back body, the side ribs, belly, chest. And then as you exhale, tuck the toes under, press into the hands, lift the hips up into your downward facing dog. And feel free to take any movements that feel good to ease out your body. You can lengthen opposite heels to the ground, maybe as you bend opposite knees, maybe shape the head yes and no. Maybe taking a sigh out of the mouth, any of the movements that feel good here in your body. Keeping all of your attention in the body, noticing the sensations that come up as you make these movements. Continuing to breathe fully. Eventually you're going to come to stillness. So maybe place a little bend in the knees, press the hands into the ground, begin to lift the hips high, lift the heels high. 
Think about drawing the forearms in towards each other, spiraling the biceps forward in space, shoulder blades away from the ears. Let the heavy, heavy back of the neck is long, deep inhale. Push the hands into the ground. As you exhale, begin to lengthen the heels down towards the ground, engaging the front thigh. So if by doing this, the spine begins to round, you have a little bend in the knees. Take another deep breath in stillness. Exhale, let it go fully. And then as you inhale, you're going to travel forward into a plank position. Nice straight line, heels back, crown the head forward. As you exhale, lower the knees, untuck the toes, bring the belly, the chest and the forehead down. Inhale, peel yourself up into baby cobra, elbows in and back, tops of feet down. Exhale, push into hands, tuck toes, lift hips high, down the facing dog. As you inhale, breathe yourself forward again into your plank. Exhale, knees, chest and chin come down, elbows in, try and keep the seat lifted. This doesn't work for you, don't worry, you can take the other option. Inhale, slide forward into baby cobra and tops of feet down, elbows in. Exhale, push into hands, tuck toes, lift hips high, downward facing dog. As you inhale, again, breathe yourself forward into your plank. Why is the body so low? As you exhale, chaturanga with control. Nice straight line, if you can. Knees, chest, chin, if you prefer. Inhale. Up for facing dog. Heart forward. Hips and knees lifted. Thighs engaged. This doesn't work for you. Stick to cobra. Exhale, push into hands. Lift hips high. Down the facing dog. Can you put it in your one? Oh. Deep breaths, deep it's inhale. The, it's the one that goes like that. Yeah. On full exhale. From here, begin to take some small steps towards the front of your mat. When your feet are right here, just position them so they are hip width apart. Even weight between all four corners of the feet. Just let the torso hang over the legs. You can take hold of opposite elbows or just let the arms hang if you prefer. Let the head be super heavy. Sides of the body lengthening. Thank you. Back of the neck long. And then maybe rocking from side to side if that feels good. Maybe shaking head yes and no. Maybe taking a sigh out of the mouth. And then with even weight between all four corners of the feet, as you inhale, press the feet down vertebrae by vertebrae, wind your spine up to your Tadasana. When you arrive, roll your shoulders back and down. Exhale. Inhale, roll your shoulders forward. Exhale, squeeze shoulder blades in, drag them back and down. One more. Inhale, circling shoulders forwards and up. Exhale, dragging them back and down, arriving in your Tadasana, pressing the feet down to lift the crown of the head towards the ceiling, thigh muscles engage, band is nice and active, so you're lifting pelvic floor, pits of belly moving in and up, take a deep inhale. Exhale, bring the palms together at your heart, maybe take a moment to set an intention for your practice, positive intention, maybe something you want to create, something you want to manifest. Moving with our breath. As you inhale, reach the arms up, flow back so pose it, maybe a little slight back bend, lifting the heart, lifting the gaze. Exhale, dive over the legs, bring the hands down to the ground, bend knees if you need to, to get the hands down. Inhale, step back with your right foot, bring shin, knee, top of foot down, gaze ahead. Retain the breath, step back into a plank, nice straight line, heels back, crown the head forward. Exhale, knees, chest, chin, or lower knees, untuck toes, belly, chest, and forehead come down. Inhale, travel forward into a baby cobra, thighs engaged, elbows in. Exhale, push into hands, tuck toes, lift hips high, downward facing dog. As you inhale, step your right foot forward, drop your left knee down, gaze ahead. Exhale, step left foot forward, soften over the leg. Inhale, press feet down, reach arms up, lengthen. Exhale, fold over the legs, bring the hands down to the ground. As you inhale, step your left foot back, shin, knee, top of foot come down, gaze ahead. 
Hold breath in, step back into a plank, heels back, crown of head forward, belly in. Exhale, knees, chest, chin, or lower knees and tuck toes, belly, chest, and forehead come down. Inhale, breathe yourself up into baby cobra, thighs engaged. Exhale, push hands down, tuck toes, lift hips, downward facing dog. Inhale, step forward with your left foot, drop your right knee down, gaze ahead. Exhale, step forward with your right foot, soften over the legs. Inhale, press feet down, reach arms up and back, lift heart, lift gaze, what feels okay for you. Exhale, fold all the way down over the legs, plant the hands. Inhale, step back with your right foot, bring shin, knee, top of foot down, plant the right hand down, reach left fingertips high. As you exhale, step the left foot back in space, coming into your half side plank. Plant the sole of the foot back and down. Lengthen that left leg. Maybe send the gaze towards left arm. Stay here for a few breaths. Option to float the left heel up and back. Send in the crown of the head forwards. Stay here or point the left toes. Bend the left knee. Maybe reach left hand back. Take instep of left foot. If you're here, you're drawing the toe towards the crown of the head. Crown of the head towards the toe. Coming into a slight back bend. A couple more breaths wherever you are. Making the breath a priority. If you have the bind, as you inhale, release it, send that heel back, reach left fingertips high, deep inhale. Exhale, everyone together, bringing both hands down, both knees down. Inhale, into your plank, heels back, crown her forwards. Exhale, knees, chest, chin, or lower knees, untuck toes, belly, chest, and forehead down. Inhale. Baby cobra, elbows in, tops of feet down. Exhale, push into hands, tuck toes, lift hips, downward facing dog. Inhale, step right foot forward, drop your left knee down, gaze ahead. Exhale, step left foot forward, relax over the legs. Inhale, press feet down, reach arms up, lengthen, expand. Exhale, fold over the legs, plant the hands down, but knee if you need to. Inhale, step back with left foot, bring shin, knee, top of foot down, plant left hand down, reach right fingertips towards the ceiling, maybe gazing towards the thumbs. As you exhale, big step back with your right foot, and come into the sole of the foot, lengthening the leg. Stay here for a few breaths, optional. Sending that right heel up and back in space so you continue to draw the crown of the head forward. Stay here, optional, point the right toes, bend the knee and bring the instep of the foot into that right hand. And you're pressing the foot into the hand if you're here, sending the heart forwards. Drawing the crown of the head towards the toe. One more deep breath wherever we are. As you inhale, if you have the bind, release it, lengthen, expand. As you exhale, bring right hand down right knee down to the ground. As you inhale, step back into your plank. Nice straight line. Exhale, knees, chest, chin, or lower knees, untuck toes, belly, chest, forehead down. Inhale, by forward into your baby cobra tops, feet down. Exhale, push into the hands, tuck toes, lift hips, down and facing dog. Inhale, step your left foot forward, right knee comes down, gaze ahead. Exhale, step right foot forward, soften over the legs. Inhale, press feet down, reach up and back, lift the heart, lift the gaze. Exhale, fold over the legs, plant the hands down. Inhale, step your right foot back, land on the ball of the foot, squeeze inner thighs towards each other and reach the fingertips high, coming into your high lunge. You can send the gaze ahead of you or towards the ceiling, but keep the gaze fixed, narrowing your attention. And then come back to the breath. With each inhale, reach a little bit higher through the fingertips. With each exhale, find a bit of softness in the posture, relax shoulder blades down, away from the ears, relax your face. Right, so we're moving up and back, energizing that leg. One more deep inhale. Exhale, lower the elbows down to shoulder height and just wrap that right arm underneath your left. Take hold of opposite shoulders or if your shoulder blades feel okay with it, maybe wrapping into eagle arms, pressing the palms of the hands together. If you're here, you're lifting your fingertips high, 
sending your elbows away from you. Beginning to move again with your breath as you inhale, arching back, reaching fingertips up and back. Careful if your low back is sensitive. Exhale, rounding the spine, drawing the elbows in towards your belly. Inhale, breathing yourself back up and back. Exhale, rounding forwards and down. One more inhale, reaching up and back. As you exhale now, gracefully unraveling the arms, send the arms out into a T-shape. And then press that left foot down to float the right heel up and back, coming into your warrior three. Send the heel back in space, crown of head forward, gaze fixed on one point ahead of you. Pressing that left foot down, energizing that left leg, strong standing leg, one more deep inhale. As you exhale, begin to lower the left fingertips to the ground. You can use a block or a book even if you don't have a block. Underneath the hand to close the gap between the hands and the ground if that left knee is bending to get the hand there. Hand is about two feet in front of the left foot, slightly out towards your left. From here, as you inhale, reach the right fingertips high, opening the front body towards the right side of the room, maybe sending the gaze towards the thumb. Optional, maybe bend that right knee, bring the instep of the foot into the right hand. Final deep breath. From here, send the gaze down to the ground if it's not there already. Active banders, if you have the bind, release it, expand. Begin to bend that left knee, as you inhale, step the right foot back, landing in your warrior two. Inhale, circle the arms down to frame your left foot as you spin onto the ball of the right foot. Exhale, step back into plank, move through chaturanga with control, knees, chest, chin if you prefer. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, push into hands, downward facing dog. As you inhale, raise your right leg up towards the ceiling, lead with your inner heel. As you exhale, step the foot between the hands and left heel back in space. Inhale, step the foot in by about two feet, slightly out towards your left. Exhale here, press the feet down, lengthen the backs of the legs and engage the front thighs. So bring a block underneath you at this point to close the gap between the ground and the hands if that right knee is bent. Knee sensitive, you can keep a little bend in that knee. As you inhale, extend the crown of the head forward. Think about sending the heart forwards, lengthening your spine. As you exhale, soften and melt down over that right leg, aiming your chin towards your shin. Couple more deep breaths here. With each inhale, press that left foot down. Send the energy up through the spine. Find a bit more length. With each exhale, soften and melt down over that right leg. Find softness in the posture, relax your front body, relax your face. From here, good idea maybe to bring a block or a book or something, just the outside of your right foot. Or you can place the hands there if you prefer. The hand is coming on the block or on the ground, just the outside of your right foot. Press the ground away with the feet, engage the thighs, lengthen the legs. Take a moment to draw the crown of the head forward and lift the back of the skull towards the ceiling. So you're not forward bending now, you're a nice straight line of energy. From here, press that left hand down as you inhale, float the right fingertips up towards the ceiling as you open the chest towards the right side of the room. Maybe sending the gaze towards the thumb or keep the gaze neutral just ahead of you. One more deep inhale, press left hand down, reach right fingertips higher. Exhale, lower both hands down to frame that right foot. Inhale, step the left foot forward beside the right, halfway lift, long spine. Exhale, soften and melt down over the legs. Inhale, press feet down, reach arms up, lengthen, expand. Exhale, fold over the legs, bring the hands down to the ground, the knees if you need to. Inhale to step your left foot back, come onto the ball of the foot, squeeze inner thighs towards each other to reach the fingertips high, coming into your high lunge. Gaze is fixed between the hands towards the ceiling or just ahead of you. Keep lifting that left heel up and back, energizing your leg. And with each inhale, think about creating more space, reaching the fingertips even higher. 
So one more deep inhale. As you exhale, lower the elbows to shoulder, shoulder height. Thread that left arm underneath the right. Take hold of opposite shoulders. If the shoulders feel okay with it, maybe wrap into your eagle arms, pressing palms together. Then coming back to that breath movement connection, as you inhale, you're reaching up and back, arching back. Just be mindful of this lower back sensitivity here. Exhale, rounding the spine, coming forwards and down. Elbow moving in towards belly. Two more, inhale. Exhale, connecting your movement to your breath. One more, inhale, reaching up and back. And then as you exhale in slow motion, as you move, like you're moving through water, reach the arms out into a T-shape. Bring the weight forwards into your right foot, press the foot down. Send that left heel back and away from you as you draw the crown of the head forward, opening up into your warrior three. A couple more deep breaths. Think about making space between both sets of fingertips, space between left heel and crown of head. One more deep inhale. As you exhale, begin to lower the right fingertips towards the ground or bring a block underneath you to close, whoop, close the gap between the ground and the hand. The hand is about two foot in front of the right foot, slightly out towards the right. From here, as you inhale, opening the front body towards your left, reaching the left fingertips high, maybe gazing towards the thumb, and pressing the ground away with that right foot. Optional to bend the left knee, in towards the hand, taking the instep of that left foot. Take another deep breath wherever you are. Strong standing leg. If you have the bind, inhale, release the bind, expand. As you exhale, bend that right knee, step the left foot back, gracefully into your warrior two. As graceful as possible. <laughs> as you inhale, circle the arms forwards and down. Framing that right foot. Exhale, stare back into plank, chaturanga or knees, chest, chin. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra, heart forward. Exhale, push into the hands, lift hips high, downward facing dog. Inhale, float left leg up towards the ceiling, lead with your inner heel so hips are square. Exhale, step the foot between the hands and the right heel back in space, runner's lunge. As you inhale, step that right foot in by about two foot slightly out towards your right. Plant the heel down. As you exhale, press feet into ground, lengthen legs. Bring prop or prop something underneath you to close the gap between the ground and the hands if you need to. As you inhale, draw the crown of the head forward. Lengthen the spine. As you exhale, soften the melt down over that left leg, slightly encouraging that left hip back in space. More deep breaths here. Find softness now with each exhale. Find something to let go of. Relax your front body. Relax your face and jaw. From here, beginning to draw the crown of the head forward, lengthening the spine. Good idea to bring a block or something or a book. Just the outside of that left foot. Bring the hand down if you prefer. Try and keep the legs nice and long and engaged. From here, draw crown of head forward, lift the skull towards the ceiling so you're not forward bending, nice straight line of energy. And then on your next inhale, reaching the left fingertips towards the ceiling, opening the chest, coming into your revolved triangle, maybe sending the gaze towards the left thumb. Think about creating spaciousness, open across the chest, pressing that right hand down to lift the left fingertips high, rooting down into the feet. One more deep inhale. Exhale, lower left hand down, lower right hand down, framing your foot. Inhale, step right foot forward, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, soften and fold over the legs. Inhale, press feet down, reach arms up, expand and lengthen. Exhale, fold over the legs, plant the hands down. As you inhale, step back with your right foot, plant the heel down, cartwheel up into your warrior two. Feel the stability of the posture. Feel your left knee directly over the ankle. Feel your shoulders stacked directly above your hips. 
Reach the fingertips away from each other. Dynamically, but soften your shoulders. Fixing the gaze on one point, just towards or beyond that left middle finger. As you inhale now, press the left foot down, lengthening left leg, reaching the arms up, bringing palms together. Exhale, moving with the breath, coming back into your warrior two. Inhale, lengthen left leg as you press that foot down, lengthening arm, palms come together. Exhale, softening back into your warrior two. Inhale, reaching the arms up. This time, keep that left leg long as you exhale, come back into T-shaped arms. As you inhale, reach the left fingertips forward, the right hip floats up and back, and then bring the hand onto the shin or the ankle, reaching right fingertips high towards the ceiling, gazing towards right thumb, or gazing ahead of you. Again, gaze fixed on one point. So if you feel like you're forward bending, the chest is facing the ground, just creep the hand a little bit further up the leg, just to really allow you to stack shoulder above shoulder, hip above hip. One more deep breath. Engaging for thighs, slight outward rotation in that left arm. Inhale, press feet down, back to T-shaped arms, long spine. Exhale, bend left knee deeply, warrior two. Inhale, cartwheel your arms down to frame left foot, spin onto ball of right foot, runner's lunge. Exhale, step back into plank. As you inhale, bring the insteps of the feet together. And then beginning to lean over onto your right hand, leaning onto the outer edge of that right foot, stacking foot above foot, and then reaching the left fingertips towards the ceiling, coming into a side plank. Option to bring the right knee down into your half side plank. Option if you want to make it a little bit more intense, beginning to float the left leg up away from the right. One more deep breath. On your exhale, coming back into your plank. Deep inhale in plank. Push the ground away with the hands. Exhale, chaturanga or knees, chest chin. Inhale, up and facing dog or cobra, thighs engaged. Exhale, push into hands, lift hips high, downward facing dog. As you inhale, raise right leg up towards the ceiling, lead with your inner heel. As you exhale, bring the knee towards your left elbow, so you're coming into a twist. Try and keep that knee really high, belly engaged. Inhale, press hands into ground, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose, nose to knee, round the spine. Inhale, final time, press hands down, reach the toes high. Exhale. And forward into three-legged plank, knee to right elbow, take a deep inhale here, resist the ground with the hands, and then exhale, let the knee just land behind that right wrist, preparing for pigeon. So shuffling that left leg back as much as you can, shuffling the right foot in towards the left wrist as much as you can. If the knees feel uncomfortable here, if the right knee feels uncomfortable, you might want to creep the knee inwards a little bit more towards the middle of your mat. If it feels really tweaky, then just skip, skip posture altogether. So from here, if you feel like you're leaning over onto one side, there's a big gap between the ground and your seat, bring a block or a book, cushions underneath your seat to give you a bit more stability. Fingertips coming onto the ground in front of you. Inhale, press fingertips down as you lift crown of hair, sending the heart forwards and up. As you exhale, lengthen spine, broaden the front body, as you come forwards and down, you might want to come onto the forearms first as the hips are tight, maybe rock side to side. Eventually, maybe coming all the way down, making a pillow with your forearms. You can rest the head on that pillow and reach the arms out in front of you. A few deep breaths here, just opportunity to just let everything settle for a moment. Just feeling what you can feel in the body. Each exhale, see if you can let go of any tension, any gripping in that right hip. Take one more deep breath and make your exhale really big. As you inhale now, begin to creep the hands forward. So from here, even if you don't need to have any padding underneath you in your pigeon, I recommend for this posture you have a little bit of height. So just try and bring something, if you have one of these, amazing. If not, a couple of cushions or like a book 
to the blanket over it. Just giving yourself a little bit of height. So you want to feel, ideally, as much as possible as you can kind of lengthen the spine quite comfortably here. So a few options. If you're still a bit like this, if you're still leaning forward, you feel a bit unstable, quite good to have another something in front of you, a book or something, just to push your hands into, give yourself a bit of height. Or if you can bring the hands onto the thigh, to the right thigh, then great. Pushing the hands into the thigh to send the heart forward, lift crown of head. If you feel a nice opening in your left hip, flex a nice opening across the front body. So we've got about another eight breaths here if you're staying here. A few more options if you want to play around. So you inhale, maybe circling the left arm up and back, bending your left knee, maybe taking hold of the instep of the foot. If you're here, you might use the hand to guide the heel in towards your glutes. If you're here, maybe creeping the foot, the toes into the left elbow crease. And if you're happy here, inhale, reach, right fingertips up. Exhale, bend elbow, taking bind. You've given many options with a little bit more of a dynamic class today. Sending the heart forwards, breathing deeply. One more deep breath wherever you are. If you have the bind, slow motion, carefully releasing, re retracing your steps. And then from here, if your props underneath you, just carefully remove them. Plant the hands down in front of you, tuck left toes under, lift the knee off the ground, engage left leg. As you inhale now, press the hands down, float the right foot up and back, three-legged dog. Exhale, step the right foot forward between your hands and the left heel back in space, rings lunge. Inhale, step your left foot forward, halfway lift, long spine. Exhale, melt down over legs. Inhale, press feet down, reach arms up and back, lift, heart lift, gaze. Exhale, fold over the legs, bring the hands down to the ground, bend knees if you need to. As you inhale, big step back for the left foot, plant heel down and then leading with left fingertips, cartwheel the arms up into your row two. Right heel is in line with left instep. Straight line of energy between both sets of fingertips and your gaze is fixed towards or beyond that right middle finger. A little bit of softness in the posture, relaxing shoulders, face and jaw. 360 degree breathing, breathing into front side and back surfaces of your body. As you inhale now, press that right hand down, lengthen right leg, reach arms up, lengthen the arms, bring palms together. Exhale, bend right knee deeply, open back out into your row two. Inhale, press right foot down, lengthen arms, palms come together. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, press right foot down, lengthen leg, bring palms together. Keep that right leg lengthened as you exhale, open the arms out to a T-shape, palms facing down. Inhale, reach forward with your right fingertips, left hip moving up and back. And then bringing the hand onto the shin or the ankle, reach left fingertips towards the ceiling. Pause here for a few breaths. You can have the gaze towards left thumb or just ahead of you, head and neck in neutral if your neck doesn't feel good with the gaze towards the ceiling. Again, if you're coming into that slight forward bend, you want to bring the hand a little bit higher up the leg so you can really stack, you can really peel that left hip open. Peel the front body open. One more deep breath. As you inhale, press feet down, back to T-shaped arms, tall spine. Exhale, bend right knee back into your row two. Inhale, cartwheel the arms down to frame your right foot. Exhale, step back into your plank. Inhale, bring the insteps of the feet together. Bring your weight onto your left hand. And then roll over onto the outer edge of your left foot. Again, a few options. Half plank if you prefer with the knee on the ground. If you want to intensify, maybe reaching that right foot up away from the left foot. Right fingertips reaching towards the ceiling, crown of head forward, one more deep inhale, push that left hand into the ground, exhale back to your plank, take a deep inhale in your plank, heels back, crown of head forward, exhale, chaturanga with control on knees, chest, chin. 
Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra, heart open. Exhale, push into hands, lift it high, downward facing dog. Inhale, float your left leg high, press into the hands. Exhale, left knee towards right elbow, keep that knee high, core active. Inhale, press hands into the ground, float your left leg high. Exhale, knee to nose, nose to knee, rounding the spine. Inhale, press hands down, three-legged dog, lengthen that left leg. Exhale, three-legged plank, knee towards your left elbow. Take a deep inhale, resist the ground with the hands. Exhale, knee lands just behind your left wrist. Drop your right knee down and tuck the toes and just shuffle that right leg back a little bit in space. So arriving in your pigeon. Knee sensitivity, you want your knee a little bit further in towards the center of the mat. You want to creep that left foot in a little bit towards your right wrist. And again, if there's a gap between hips and ground, close that gap with props, with props, with cushions or yoga props, or if you're leaning over onto one side. Pad the fingers in front of you. Inhale, press fingertips down, heart forwards and up, long spine. Exhale, keep that length in the spine as you come forwards and down. Again, if your hips are feeling a bit tight, you might want to come on the forearms, have a wriggle around first. Eventually, maybe reaching the arms out in front of you, forehead to ground or on a block. Or folding the arms, placing the forehead onto the forearms. A few more deep breaths here. With each exhale, just see if you can release any resistance to the ground. See if you can make your inhales a little bit deeper now. And when you're exhaling, letting go of that breath completely. One more deep breath. As you inhale, creeping the hands in again, I recommend coming on to a little bit more padding than you're used to for the next variation. So again, you can have a prop in front of you, connect the hands on the thigh, on the left thigh. Uh, so either we're staying here for about another eight breaths, pushing the hands into the thigh, sending heart forwards and up, rolling shoulders back and down. A few more options, maybe inhale, reaching left arm up and back, maybe bending that right knee, taking instep of the foot, if you're here, maybe drawing the heel in towards the glute, if the foot comes quite far in, sliding the foot into the elbow crease. If you're here comfortably, inhale, reach left fingertips high, exhale, bend the elbow, maybe taking the bind. Couple more deep breaths wherever you are, heart open, breathing into your heart space. Have the bind just carefully releasing step by step mindfully unraveling bringing the hands down in front of you removing any props tuck the right toes under just shuffle the foot in slightly engage the thighs and the heel back in space energizing that leg as you inhale press the hands down flip the left leg up and back exhale step left foot between the hands and the right heel back in space runner's lunge Inhale, step your right foot forward, halfway lift, long spine. Exhale, soften forwards over the legs. Inhale, press feet down, reach arms up, lift and lengthen. Exhale, bring the palms to the heart, take a deep breath, deep inhale. Full exhale. Just taking a moment to just recall that positive intention that you may have set at the start of your class. Breathing that intention in. From here, stepping the feet about mat width apart. Just toe heel the feet out, so about mat width apart. Your toes are pointing slightly outwards. As you inhale, press feet down. Lift the crown of the head towards the ceiling. As you exhale, you're going to lower the hips down. So if they don't come that far down, you can come into your half malasana, your, your kind of half low squat, or you can lower the hips all the way down if that's available, fingertips to the ground. Inhale, press into feet, lift the hips, crown of head melts down. Exhale, lower the hips down, heart forward, crown of head lifts, moving with the breath. Inhale, press feet down, lift the hips, crown of head down. Exhale, hips down, heart 
forward crab press lifts. A few more. So if you're feeling like you really have some energy to burn, then maybe introducing that fiery breath again. So inhale, exhale. It's quite intense. So a few more rounds if you want to go for that, or just moving slowly with your breath. Pressing the feet into the ground as you inhale, lifting your hips, lengthening your legs. Exhale, lowering the hips. One more deep inhale, lifting hips high, exhaling, bringing the hips down, and then pausing in your malasana, half malasana if you prefer. If you're in malasana, you're drawing your thumbs in towards your heart, heart towards your thumbs, tailbone dropping, crown of head lifting. Even weight between inner and outer edges of your feet. So if the heels are lifting up off the ground, you might want to widen your stance, maybe turn the toes to point out a little bit more. One more deep breath. So if your hips are quite far from the ground, you're probably going to want to bring your hands behind you at this point. If your hips are quite towards the ground, there's only a little gap between the hips and the ground, active banders, gaze ahead of you, send the arms out in front of you, parallel to the ground. And then just dropping onto your sitting bones, and then floating the shins forwards and up, arriving in the Vasana boat pose. You're pressing the sitting bones down to send the heart forwards and up, crown of head lifting, long spine. Couple more deep breaths, keep that breath slow and deep despite the effort of the posture. One more deep inhale. As you exhale, cross one shin over the other, bring outer edges of feet to the ground, come forwards, Press hands down into the ground, inhale, lift your hips off the ground if you can. Exhale, bring the seat back down. Inhale, second round, few breaths here, bring your intention into it. Option if you need to, you can bring the hands behind the thighs. If you want to go a bit more intense, you can lengthen the legs. One more deep breath. On your exhale, cross at the shins, opposite way. Outer edges of feet down, lean forwards, hands just beside the hips. Inhale, press down to lift the seat if you can. Exhale, seat comes back down. Final round, half boat now. So coming a little bit more into the sacrum. You can have the forearms down if you need to. So you can come in a little bit lower to the ground. A couple more deep breaths. One more deep inhale. Exhale. Lying back on the ground, bring the back of the head down, let the arms and legs be soft, belly soften, chest soften, let the breath gradually slow down. Bring your attention inwards, feel what you can feel from the inside out. <laughs> so, from here, bending the knees, drawing the heels in towards your glutes as much as you can. So if you reach out, you want to be able to feel your heels if, po if possible, that's what we're working towards. Outer edges to feet are parallel, feet more or less hip width apart. And then again, turn the palms to you, face up. Press evenly down through the soles of the feet as you inhale, you're going to peel your front body up into your bridge pose. Really feel as though your knees are directly over your ankles and not splaying out, even weight between inner and outer edges of the feet. A few more breaths here if you want to intensify, maybe interlace the hands behind your back, lengthen the arms and then draw the shoulder blades in towards each other, get a little bit more height, pressing the arms down to lift the heart, lift the hips. For a little bit more of a challenge, the final couple of breaths, maybe stepping that left foot slightly in towards the midline of the mat. Inhale, float the right leg up. It's like you're pushing the ceiling away with the sole of the foot. Exhale, bring the foot down to the midline of the mat. Inhale, press the foot down, lengthen the left leg. Take the sole of the foot towards the ceiling. Exhale, gracefully replacing that foot down. Inhale, press down, lift the heart and the hips a little bit higher. As you exhale, release the interlace if you have it. Shoulder blades move away from each other, lower the upper, the middle, and the low back down. Take a couple of breaths. Maybe bring one hand onto the heart, the other hand on top. 
and just for a few breaths, just tune into the energy of your heart space, center for love and compassion. Maybe taking a moment to just think about everything in your life that is positive at the moment. Things that you can be grateful for. And just feeling that energy moving through your body. From here. Going to extend the left leg out in front of us, draw your right knee in, hug the knee in towards you, and then bring the palm of the left hand to the outside of the knee. And then use the hand on the knee to just draw that right leg over you towards your left, coming into your twist. Reaching the right fingertips out away from you, maybe gazing towards the thumb, or maybe just turning the head in that direction and closing the eyes down. Pull for more deep breaths, no more really active postures, so really letting go of any effort now, letting go of any expectations. Inhale, come back to centre forward, draw both knees in, give yourself a hug, send that right leg away from you, hug your left knee in, and then bring right palm of hand to outside of left knee, deep inhale, exhale, guiding left knee over towards your right, reaching left fingertips out, maybe gazing towards them or closing the eyes. And with each exhale, just let go of any effort, anything you're holding on to. Inhale back to centre. And then either bring the hands behind the thighs and just rocking up and down the spine. If this doesn't feel comfortable, using your breath, inhale and exhale back. If this doesn't feel comfortable, just rocking from side to side. And then coming up to sit or just rolling over onto one side carefully, guiding yourself up to a seated posture. Sending legs out in front of you. So if you feel at this point like you're kind of rounding the spine, having to engage a lot to stay upright, then you can bring a thin block or a couple of cushions underneath your seat. Just give yourself a little bit more height. Think about sending your heels away from you, curling your toes in, engaging front thighs, pressing the backs of the knees down towards the ground. Press the sitting bones down, lift the crown of head. As you inhale, reach fingertips high, lengthen. As you exhale, hinge forwards and down. Keep the spine long, shoulders away from ears. And then take hold of shins or ankles, sides of the feet, take the big toe bind, whatever works for you. Come back to your breath with each inhale. Send the crown of the head forward as you reach sitting bones back and down, shoulders away from the ears. Each exhale, draw the front body down towards the legs as you keep drawing the crown of the head forward. Subtle breath led movement. Inhale, lengthening. Exhale, softening. Maybe letting go of your breath entirely at the end of your exhale, feeling that just moment of complete release, complete letting go at the end of your exhale. One more deep breath. And then releasing bind, inhale, come back to a tall spine, removing any crops you might have underneath you. And then just making sure you have everything in place for a comfortable shavasana. You might want blankets, you might want to put socks on. If you feel that your feet might get cold, maybe a cushion underneath your head. Bring the arms out in front of you, deep inhale. Exhale, round the spine, vertebrae by vertebrae. Come down to lie on your back, receiving the benefits of your practice. Melting down into your shavasana. Low back sensitivity, you might want to bring a couple of cushions or a bolster if you have one underneath your knees. That's not available to you right now. Maybe bringing the feet towards the outer edge of the mat, bending up the knees and then letting the knees drop in towards each other.
and now the furthest sound that you can hear. And then that's the same, the most immediate sound that you can hear. And then the rhythm of attention a bit deeper inwards, notice there. Maybe the sound of your own breath or the texture of your breath is including you. Deepening that breath now, bringing all the way into the belly, the chest, the sun side ribs. Exhale, letting it go completely, maybe taking the sound. Enjoying these movements, noticing exactly how they feel. And then maybe circling the ankles and wrists, making the movements a bit bigger. Maybe turning the head from side to side. If it feels good, you might want to take a stretch, reaching the arms up and over your head, lengthening your legs. Taking a deep inhale now. As you exhale, draw your knees in towards your chest. You can rock the knees from side to side or make circles with the knees in one direction and then the other. Eventually rolling over to land on one side, any side. Take a breath or two here. You can bring a little block or something underneath you if that helps to lengthen the spine. And let's turn the palms to face up, so just inviting fresh energy in, bringing your forefinger and thumb together to meet, connecting this to our step back observing without judgment, noticing how you're feeling physically, mentally, emotionally, and then don't judge yourself. And let's close with a final deep thin breath together. As you inhale, reach the arms up and inhale as deeply as you can, all the way into the belly, chest, side ribs, bring the palms together, exhale, let it go completely, draw your palms down to your heart, and then bow your head down to your heart. Inhale, lift the chin, and 